and welcome back it's video number two and my top tip number four in feeling calm and positive is to focus on what you can control so there's obviously a lot of stuff going on right now that we can't control what the government will say next when the next guidelines will come in if and when we're going to get coronavirus all these things are unknown so the idea is to focus on what you can control and you might feel that you can't control much but actually you can you can control to an extent and obviously it, it does take practice but you can control what you're thinking and you can be aware of what you're thinking so you catch yourself if you start to go in that spiral of you know everything's going wrong I can't you know this is happening that's happening you can catch yourself and think more positive and constructive thoughts because when you're in a place of fear or anxiety you are using your reptilian mind so you're not creative we can all get creative at this time so focus on what you can control you can control your daily habits you can control what you say to people so you know if you've got children you can be um, very positive with them and not pass on any anxiety to them they might be not showing it but they might be quite concerned and so you can control how the the story that, that you put across to them if you are self-isolating you can control your daily habits and you know for someone I used to commute like an hour and a half to work um, back in the day and think of that if you if you're someone who used to commute or has been commuting and you've been told to work from home think of that hour that you now have that you can control you could um, introduce a new practice into your life you could get up early and do some stretches or you could get up early and or use the time that you would have been on the train or in the car to read a book or I don't know sort through photos do some jobs around the house you can control how you spend your day to an extent and that's the important thing to focus on those things that you can control so that's point number four point number five is to which is following on is to come from a place of gratitude because you know there is a lot of uncertainty but we there's always something to be grateful for always you know if you've still got a house you can be grateful we've got running water electricity you know you've got your family with you um, if you're if you haven't got the lurg yet you're able to do these things get some exercise read sort out stuff there's a lot that you can do um, that you can be grateful for just got traffic coming and um, it's a really good practice to get into gratitude anyway I mean it's a sort of thing that we should all be doing on a daily basis hiya and um, it will make the situation feel better you know there's always someone worse off than you there's always someone better off than you but if you can just be grateful for what you've got, got you'll get in a better place and then the sixth point is contribution and um, giving back because taking the focus off yourself onto others is a really really powerful way of feeling positive and there are many ways we can do that right now if you are self-isolated you know maybe you can't go and buy your elderly neighbor shopping you can't do that but you can ring friends and or just send them a text message and say you know thinking of you these sort of things just um, changing the focus from you onto them is a really I've got a train now 
is a really great way to make yourself feel more positive and more upbeat. You're doing something constructive, you're doing something kind and giving. So use this opportunity. You can't imagine how many times I talk to people or give a talk on happiness and one of the steps I recommend is staying in touch with friends and you cannot believe how many times people say oh I don't have time to stay in touch with people now is the time now is the time if you're at home and you can't go to work send some text messages send an email ring a friend now you can be connected and just by reaching out you are going to make someone else feel better and that will give you such a warm feeling inside. So those are my six tips. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you could hear them with all the racket that's going on and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Bye.